Hey my friends, are you fed up with your current game launcher on your Windows handheld gaming PC? Would you prefer to have something looks unique or maybe fit your old gaming vibe? I have been using a game library manager called Play Night on all my Windows handheld PCs for quite some time now. I think this software is truly remarkable for any Windows handheld PC. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up the Play Night so you can load all your PC games and emulation games into one slick interface. The setup is pretty easy, I guarantee everyone can handle this. The best thing I love about this software is how easy to import any games into this beautiful interface. Customizing or updating game album picture is super super easy here. To be honest, this is significantly better than the Steam Deck plugin Steam Grid DB. If you own a Steam Deck, you likely understand exactly what I'm referring to here. I typically set my handhelds to boot directly into the Play Night, so it gives me a gaming console experience. Okay, without further delay, now let's get the Play Night on your Windows device. I will use my ROG Ally as demonstration in this video, but you can set up the Play Night on any Windows device. First, let's have Play Night installed. On your Windows device, go to Play Night website and download the installer from here. Then open up the installer file. Next, you will get this window. Click on option here, then you can change the installation location. I will leave as default location here. Then click the install button. The installation now starts after about 30 seconds, then we will have this window. Here it tells you that you can add your current game launchers such as Steam, Epic or Battle.net through this configuration process automatically, or you can manually add them later on. I will go through this automatic process first, then I will show you how to add any game launchers manually into the Play Night. Let's click on Next. Now we can select any game launchers you already have on your device on this page. I will pick Steam, Epic, and Battle.net here. Then click Next. On this page, if you check the first box, games that has been installed on your device will be imported into the Play Night. If the second box is checked, it will import games that has not been installed on your device to the Play Night. For this one, you have to verify your game launcher account here too. So I personally prefer to import only installed games. I think this more makes sense for most of people. So make sure the first box is checked, then click next. Then we just repeat the same process for each game launcher. After you go through each one, it will show configuration finished. Click finish. Now we will boot into the play night. On the left side, we can see games that have been imported. Also, every time when you add a new game, it will automatically download game album pictures. So on the right top corner, it's indicating the downloading process. Once the downloading process is complete, the game artwork will be added into your game. If we click the Xbox controller button on the top left corner, then go to the third party clients, we can see all the existing game launchers that have been connected with Play Night. But if you want to add more game launchers later on, this is how to do it. From this same menu and go to Add-ons. Inside this window, if we click Libraries under the Browser section, then we will see tons of game launchers that we can select to connect with Play Night. So here I will connect GOG with Play Night as an example. I just quickly search GOG and click Install on the right side. Then click save. Now the play night need to be restarted. Click yes to restart. Then if we go to the controller icon, then third party clients, the GOG will show up here. Next, go to update game library. Select update all. Or you can select GOG from this list. Now the GOG games will be imported into the play night game list. The game artwork will be automatically added to. Let's say if you purchased and installed some new games from Steam or other game launchers later on, here is how to make those games to show up in the Play Night. All you need to do is go to Update Library and click on the game launcher that you like to update. Now the new game will pop up in the Play Night. If I want a new game from Epic Game Store to show up inside the Play Night, just repeat the same process. 
the new game from Epic Store were added into the Play Night. This is pretty much all for how to install Play Night and import PC games from different game launchers. Now it's time for some special PC games. I understand lots of people need this. Ok, from Play Night, click on the controller icon, then go to Add Game. Select Scan Automatically. Select Scan Folder. Then navigate to where your game folder is located and pick the game folder. Then click Select Folder. You will see the game .exe file instantly in this window. Then select the .exe file and click Add Games. Now your favorite game is imported into the Play Night. Don't worry about the game artwork for now. I will show you how to add them in the later of this video. For any downloaded PC games, you can use this method. Now let's move to the emulation section. Play Night basically supports all the emulators include RetroArch. In this video, I'm not able to show every single emulator, but the setup process is exactly same for all the emulators. First, we need to configure emulators before importing any emulation games. So click on the controller icon on the top left corner. Then select library. Go to configure emulators. Next, click import. Then select scan folder. Navigate to your emulator folder. So here is my RPC S3 PS3 emulator folder. I will go inside this folder. Then click Select Folder. The Play Night will find the PS3 emulator in few seconds. Then click the Import button. Now the PS3 emulator configuration is done. For other emulators, we just repeat the same process. So I repeated the same process 6 times to add all my 7 emulators here. There is a quick method to add all your emulators to Play Night, but this requires all your emulators inside one folder. I will quickly remove what I just did before. Now I will click Import. Then Scan Folder and select my Download Folder because all my emulators are inside my Download Folder. So I just have to pick the Download Folder. Then click Select Folder. Now Play Night will find all my emulator at once. Then click Import and click Save. Now the emulator configuration is done. Now we can start importing emulation games into Play Night. Let's go to the controller icon again. Then add a game, select emulated game. Then click add scanner. On this page, under scan with emulator, pick any emulator that you prefer to scan. Then select profile. Then under scan folder, navigate to your game ROM folder's location. Here I will just select my emulator folder because I usually have my game ROM folder inside my emulator folder. Then click Start Scan. The Play Night will now search for your emulation game. This is a Super Mario game, it has incorrect name here. Most of Nintendo games will show incorrect name. There is a reason for that, you guys probably know that. Then click Import. The emulation game will be added into the Play Night. So don't worry about the game name and the game artwork, we will fix them later on. Now I will repeat the same process to add all other emulation games into the Play Night. Ok, now all my emulation games are in Play Night, and you can see this Switch game has wrong name too. Let's fix this name for the Super Mario game. So move your mouse to the right side next to more. You will see a pencil icon. Click on that. Now we can change the game name from here. Then click save the game name will be updated. At this point we have added all the PC games and emulation games into the Play Night. But we are missing a ton of game artwork here. Now let's get it done. Click the pencil icon next to the more button. Then go to media. From this page we can update icon, cover image, background image. All we need to do is click the internet icon on each section. Then it will load up all different pictures let us to pick. So just go to each section and click the internet icon to update your game artwork. Then click save. Your game artwork will get updated instantly. 
Here I will just repeat the same process for all other games that I don't have game artwork. You can also change any of your existing artworks by this way. Ok, now all my games have artworks that I like. The next thing we need to do is downloading some beautiful theme and make our Windows device truly feel like a gaming console. In this section, I will also show you how to set your system so it will boot straight into the play night without interruption. Ok, let's click on the controller icon, then go to add-ons. On this page, move to the browser section. Here we can download the desktop theme and full screen theme. For handheld PCs, most likely you will only use the full screen theme, but you can also play around with the desktop theme here. My favorite full screen theme is called Hero and PS5-ish. I will download those two themes from here as demonstration purpose. So we just have to select the theme you like to download on the left side and then click the install button from the right side. After that, then we can click save and click yes to restart the play night. Next, we can go to the controller icon again, then click switch to full screen mode. After booting into the full screen mode, now we can use D-pad, select and start button to control this menu. What we are seeing right now is the play night default full screen theme. We can press the select button now, it will bring up the menu from the top right side. Then go to settings. Next, select virus. Under the theme, we can switch any theme that we just downloaded. Here I will select the hero theme. Then I will also prefer to show the background image on the main screen. It just looks better. Personally, I don't like darkening my background image, so I will reduce this to zero here. If you prefer to have the game title show on the screen, you can check this box. Then we can press button B to go back. Next, go to the layout. I usually prefer to have the horizontal scrolling feature on, and it just looks more stylish. There are more layout stuff that you can tweak around on this menu. Then we can press button B twice, the system will ask for a restart. Click yes to restart the play night. Now we have the new theme applied. I think this looks pretty cool. If you don't have enough column on the home screen, just go to the layout and increase the column number. Now if you go back to the home screen, you will see more games on your home screen. If you want to switch to a different theme, just go to settings, visuals, then select the theme you like to change. For the PS5-ish theme, make sure you turn off the horizontal scrolling feature under the layout. Now we will have the PS5 look on your Windows device. Just remember, if you want to add new games into the play night, you have to switch back to the desktop mode. The desktop mode offers full function features. Now let's set up the system so it can boot straight into the play night full screen mode. First thing we need to do is go to the play night settings. Under general, make sure you turn on launch in full screen mode. Also turn on launch play night when you start your computer. Then click save. If you have ROG Ally, then go to your Armor Cree Content System under About. Make sure you turn off Armor Cree SE at System Startup. If you have Aya Neo or Legion Go, just do the same thing to disable the stock launcher at Startup. I also recommend to turn off your Steam, Epic Game Store, or other game launchers that you have at Windows Startup. This will increase the Play Night boot up speed a lot. As you can see, we are now booting straight into the play night. All your games are ready to play from here. That's pretty much all for setting up the play night on Windows device. I think it is really a nice front end for people who just want to pick the device and play. Also, it adds a little bit unique taste for gaming on Windows device. As always, thanks for being here and I will talk to you in the comment section.